Hey has-beens, back with the spinal tap run of this month. That's right, it's day 11. Most bands take it to 10, most runners take it to 10. Here on this channel, we take it to 11. So on this very rainy Saturday morning, it's warmer, but it's very, very rainy. It's coming down actually quite hard. I wouldn't say like cats and dogs quite yet, but it's coming down big, it's coming down quite a bit. So today, I'm gonna to talk about how my Saturday workout went, um, and I'd like to talk a little bit about what's going on in running news lately, specifically what's going on with Mary Kane. So today's workout, today's workout was good. Uh, ran 30 minutes, met the goal, did not have a good night's sleep last night, went to bed at an okay hour, probably the first time that I haven't been sick and I Went to bed on a Friday night at, I think, 9.15 or 9.30. So really tried to set myself up for success. And woke up at about 2 o'clock in the morning with some stomach issues. So um, nothing super bad. Um, not as bad as it was at the big, uh, about a week ago when I had that trouble. Um, but woke me up, kept me up for a while. And instead of waking me up at 4.30 in the morning, where it's just like, I may as well just get up and, and start my day. It hit me at about 2 o'clock in the morning. So you're not going to be getting up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to try to get your workout in. That's that's just a mistake. Way too short on sleep. So I'd end up struggling the rest of the day. So um, ended up uh, oversleeping my alarm by a little bit, but not enough to have a negative impact. It's a Saturday, not a whole heck of a lot to do. So still managed to uh, get up and be at the gym by about 6 o'clock. Um, and felt okay. Started a little bit faster. I think this was the first day that I actually ran my first mile under eight minutes. 7.56, I think I eyeballed it at, something like that. And felt good. Felt smooth. Closed my last 1,400 meters in about uh, 7.13 pace. So paying a little bit more attention to the pace. Not really calculating the distance, though. Came out to 3.92. So I don't know what exactly, I'll, I'll put the pace per mile below, but I, I'm guessing that's somewhere around 742, 741 pace, something like that. So definitely a good step forward. Tomorrow's the long run. Uh, not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. I'll do the math, probably gonna work out around five or six miles. Mm, thinking about maybe just doing a long, slow distance day and trying to get an hour in, I'm gonna have to Think and pray on that a little bit. Think about whether it's a good idea to jump all the way up to an hour after having run, you know, between 30 and 40 minutes uh, really consistently <clears throat> for the last uh, 11 days now. Um, so let's talk about Mary Kane. Mary Kane's on a comeback. Uh, for those of you that watch the channel that don't know a lot about running, Mary Kane was a phenomenal high school runner in the um, early 2000s. Uh, so after I went to school, I think I was late college by the time she sort of broke out on the scene. She's a New York runner, and she just did what New York runners were doing back then and still are doing today, crushing records and um, just killing it. And instead of going to college, she chose to go pro right out of high school, which is exceptionally rare in the running world. You really don't see it at all, with very few exceptions. Um, and she went out west, went out to Oregon, and ran with Alberto Salazar and that group for a little while, and she did have some initial success. I think she broke the junior record in the thousand indoors and had some other successes couldn't really stitch together anything super consistent though for long periods of time dealt with injuries and then sort of right before this last alberto salazar incident hit um and when i say last this was like three or four years ago so right before the big alberto salazar incident hit really went to the mainstream she just kind of disappeared. She, it seemed like she just sort of got injured and then never came back. And I remember that after a while of being out, it sort of got reported that she was going to leave the group and go back to New York. And 
she just kind of disappeared. And for better or for worse, um, this is maybe a little cruel to say, but it's I think it's the truth. The world kind of forgot about her. The Olympics came and went. More records got broken. More fast high school girls came along. The story with Alberto Salazar progressed. And that training group sort of fall, fell apart. And lo and behold, at the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, Mary Kane resurfaces in New York. And I think she ran 2130-something in a four-miler, sort of out of nowhere on New Year's Day. And she just recently ran, I think it was on Wednesday or Thursday night, she just ran a 9.25 3K. And I just, I draw a lot of inspiration from that because Mary Kane is not where she was before. She really isn't even that close to where she was before. But after 12 or 1300 days of being away from the game, being out of the spotlight, being away from all that encouragement and excitement and, uh, camaraderie and being at sort of the pinnacle or very near the pinnacle of the sport, uh, she is making a hard charge back at it. And frankly, that's what, that's what the hashtag has been, you know, movement that I'm trying to, to leverage here is all about, it's, it's all about stories like Mary Kane and, um, and I forgive me, I cannot remember the name, but there was another athlete that's trying to make a dramatic comeback that was at the near pinnacle of, of the sport. And I think they ran a little bit quicker, 919, 918, something like that. So in the grand scheme of things, 925 is um, nothing that's going to, you know, uh, uh, shake the foundations or rattle the windows of, of the running world or even Mary Kane's own personal records for that matter. But it is a, a huge step in the right direction for her. She's probably about as fast as she was. I'm just eyeballing this. I don't know all the numbers, but she's probably just about as fast as she was on, in her junior or senior year in high school. And I know that if I could get back to where I was junior and senior year in high school, I'd be feeling really good about that about that 15-minute barrier. And I am I'm a lifetime away. This journey for Mary Kane has been a lot longer than the last 11 days. Uh, it's been months and years in the making, and I know that's what it's going to take from me. And watching somebody else do it is uh, very inspirational, and it offers hope to people like me that are trying to to get it done day in and day out. So, um, uh, if you can find it, uh, watch the race. Um, I, I honestly try YouTube. I really have no idea where it might be available. Mile split. I think the race was at the armory. So you might be able to try arm, uh, armory track or, um, uh, check out the article on let's run, which is where I learned about the news and try and draw some inspiration from it. Um, there are a few comeback stories, uh, that are really popular. And I hope that, uh, I hope that Mary Kane manages to claw her way back to the top again, because it would be really great to see somebody that um, sort of got caught up in the hustle and bustle, had some success, and then sort of learned a lot of really hard lessons and came back and really made a big success out of the out of the situation. So yeah, really drawing inspiration from her. So congratulations to her. Good luck to her. And now that I know she's back, uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be following her uh, like a hawk. Uh, and really wishing her, uh, wishing her the best in her training and in her racing. So that being said, we're going to close it out for today, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope your running is going very good. And, uh, tomorrow I'm going to talk a little bit about what, uh, what week, what week three of 2020 is going to be like. Um, I'm not exactly sure what direction I'm going to go in at this point. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to try and run the same 30 minutes faster or whether I'm going to try and go a little bit longer, but Comment down below, uh, what athletes do you draw inspiration from? Uh, and it doesn't have to be running. It could be, it could be baseball, basketball, softball, you know, what are the athletes and what are their, just a brief description of their stories. I'm always looking for good opportunities for inspiration. So I'm not picky. So comment down below on who, who inspires you and what major athletes inspire you to do better until then we will catch you tomorrow.